Hello everyone, this is June. You might know me as June Bob or Blacklist Clancy. If you've played with me on FF14, you might know me as Dan. I just wanted to take the time to thank everyone for enjoying my videos and for the overwhelming amount of praise over the months. I truly appreciate it and it's always exciting to hear back from you guys. Whether it's because you found a guide I've made actually useful, or if one of them helped yourself, a friend, or anyone you know get a clear for a fight, or even if a video keeps you coming back for multiple viewings just because you enjoy the presentation and you find them fun to watch. Regardless if you've already cleared for months. So, from me to everyone, thank you. I began making these guides around the end of Alphascape, but I started playing and raiding in 14 during Deltascape during the Stormblood expansion. My first wave of playtime was spent on finishing the MSQ all the way from ARR to Heavensward and to Stormblood without a jump potion. By the time I got caught up to current content, the new raid tier was already live for about a month. When I finally started to raid through PF, like many of you, I quickly experienced and realized there were very few to no video guides that dealt with party finder strats, or updated guides in general. The types of guides I wanted to see didn't exist. Party finder can be a fun place, but there's definitely aspects of PF that can be daunting to people that aren't used to it and have things specific to that environment. For example, sometimes groups will expect you to know things that there's no way you would know without a proper guide or having experience. While I do have a weekly static, I still play on PF regularly. Not everyone is able to join a static, or fortunate enough to get into a good one. Some players just prefer to pug it, or are just unable to commit to a fixed schedule. And not everyone starts to raid from minute one from a tier's release. I finally decided I was comfortable enough with raiding, and these guides need to exist. I set aside time and made a couple diagrams with the purpose of helping my static get caught up to speed with some PF strats. I quickly found that many players found this kind of guide helpful. I enjoy making these guides, and I would love to create more, and perhaps even take it a step further. If you'd like to contribute to this endeavor, here are some ways you can support me. The first way is simple. Sharing. Something you guys are already doing. Keep it up. Let me know when a video was useful to you or helped you get it clear, and then share them with people that might also find it useful. And then point them this way. If you have the leisure to and want to take it one step further, here are some more direct ways to show your support. My coffee and Patreon. You may not know this, but I'm working solo. And I don't have a team of people that help me make the videos. I capture all the video clips, create all the additional art assets, and do the editing on my own. Discounting the random player participation from Party Finder and players like Fang coming along to help, pretty much everything but the music is made by me. For work, I work on actual other work work projects. So all of this is made during my free time. More time spent on work equals less time spent on these videos. A small tip or a token of appreciation will add up and will help tremendously. And when those add up, ideally, I'll be able to devote more time to these vids and not those work work vids. If you find my videos helpful and worthy every time, please consider subscribing to the Coffee or Patreon. Before I go into specifics, let me put it into perspective and give you a very quick look of what goes into making one of these guides. I'll use the recent Fulmination Pickup Guide as an example. I follow a handful of rules I made for myself when I make these guides. These rules are just for me and I don't expect anyone else to follow them. Number one, don't make a guide for something I haven't cleared yet. Related to that is number two, make sure the clips are mine. Three, the guide needs to be accurate and informative, but also fun to watch. Just because a guide's intention is to teach, it doesn't mean it can't be entertaining. This is a video medium after all. And finally, number four, accuracy over speed and quality over quantity. After I get my initial clear and eventually decide I'll make a guide of a specific fight, I start to script out what kind of clips I'll need to show. I make sure the information is accurate and as recent as possible. I decide what needs to be gameplay footage and what is worth showing in the form of diagrams. From there, I spend a good deal of time in Party Finder getting the footage that is necessary. This is the fun part because I get to play the game. I collect footage and let 
Party Finder happened for a couple weeks, since strats can dramatically change or shift in popularity. See what strats stick, see which ones are good, which ones are bad, and which ones people should be using. Design-wise, I start to think about a visual theme, what colors to use, and what animations to make. And in conjunction, what sound or music I'd like to have. And then, I start to edit, and edit, and edit. When I get to a workable rough cut, I switch over to diagrams and motion graphics. I illustrate, design, and animate the additional effects that will be used throughout the video. After designing, animating, and exporting, I start to weave those elements in. If I'm missing anything, I go back into 14 and record those clips. For example, I don't have a good shot or the correct angle for a triangle strat, it's time for Party Finder again. By this time, I've locked into music selections. I adjust the edits to the sound, syncing where it is appropriate to do so. Add in the transitions, additional graphics, start to bring it all together. When it's all together, hit export. Go take a nap. And then, rewatch the video a million times to make sure everything is presentable and correct. Upload. And then, rewatch on YouTube and see where I get screwed over by YouTube compression. Edit. And repeat as many times as necessary. And finally, the video goes live. Go take another nap. Though, once a video is live, it's not quite over. I make sure to fix mistakes or minor errors that have slipped by even after all that double checking. I'll address this through an additional video or a complete re-upload. A high view count is always nice, but it's not the end goal for me. I want the channel to be a resource for accurate information, and not just a popular one. I'll re-upload a video or create a follow-up as needed. And this is something I've done multiple times already. Coffee is a nice option if you want to give a quick and easy thank you. Think of it like buying me a coffee or Coke Zero because a video helped you or a friend get a clear. There's less options for coffee, but it's very straightforward. Patreon is more if you feel super generous and find that I'm worthy of supporting long term. Due to the nature and goal of my videos, I can't ever promise faster releases or extravagant tier rewards, but what I can offer is, just for my supporters, an earlier look at video releases, and some behind the scene bonus content, similar to what you're watching now. With enough support, I can also present the possibility of more videos throughout the tier, and not just more raid guides, different types of videos as well. Let's take for example a video retrospective in my style. I'm a big fan of Final Fantasy VI, Tactics, Ivalice, and anything Yasumi Matsuno makes. I would love to make something related to that in conjunction to 14. And of course, I play more than just 14, so other games are a possibility. If any of those things interest you, check out the links in the video or the description. For those of you that stuck around this long, thank you once again for your consideration and your support. Take it easy and happy raiding.